1903, Wilbur and Orville Wright got that airplane off the ground in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, and the Actors Fund was 21 years old. Because there was a fair there, everyone was singing Meet Me in St. Louis, and the first subway was opened in New York City. The first copy of the show business Bible, Variety, hit the stands, and in 1906, earthquake and fire destroyed two-thirds of San Francisco. The Merry Widow opened on Broadway, and a Russian named Pavlov used dogs to study conditioned reflexes. The Actors Fund was 25 years old. Henry Ford put the Model T on the market for $850.50. Baseball regulations outlawed the spitball, and the FBI was established. Robert Peary discovered the North Pole, and William Howard Taft became president. The Boy Scouts of America were founded, and Halley's Comet was observed. The first transcontinental airplane flight from Pasadena to New York took three and a half days with refueling stops along the way. In 1912, the Actors Fund was 30 years old and movies were becoming a popular form of entertainment. That year, two acting sisters, Lillian and Dorothy Gish, joined the Biograph Company and were among the first movie queens. I'd like you to meet Harvey. Harvey, you've heard me speak of Aunt Ethel Chauvinet. She's one of my oldest and dearest friends. She's the one who... Him? Uh, that's right. Well, this is the one. No, no, she's the one. Well, I'm not late. And I'm gonna stay right here and fight for this lost cause. Even if this room gets filled with lies like these. And the tailors and all their armies come marching into this place. Somebody will listen to me. So... 
good idea, Ernie. A toast <laughs> to my big brother, George, the richest man in town. He's in love with a woman with wings. She's got him. I've no way to cut her out. But there's another road. Yes, there is. And we're on it. I look terrible. Who says so? Isn't fair of you to bust in on us like this? I phoned you from Portland. Yes, but you said you wouldn't be home for a. We were lucky. We got a plane to Welburn. And I thought we were going to get stuck there, but, but we came right through. El, are you all right? Sure. Are you all right? Oh, of course I am. Give me humility, Lord. After all, it was only thy merciful goodness and thy divine providence that saved the boy. But they are ungrateful, and you know it. You're asking for trouble, Mr. Ringo. But you already got it, partner. Because I got a gun on you under this table. And it's pointing smack at your belly. Are you going to get out of here or not? I'm kind of disappointed in you, Mr. Ringo. We heard a lot about you around here, but I guess they forgot to tell us about the gun under the table. The older you grow, the more you learn, son. Now, turn around and head for the door. is not guilty. But somebody in this courtroom is. You need not worry about me. I'm free white in 21. Almost. And I'll go on loving you from here on out. Or until I stop loving you. But nobody owes a thing to Kitty Foyle. Except Kitty Foyle. Hello, Bill. Don't be sentimental. Remember, you're a ham at all. No, that wasn't me. That was a friend of mine. Uh, how's the new job coming on? Would you like me to carry a yes. message to your late lamented Aunt Susan? Hold on. Gangrene just set in. No message. I don't use that kind of language.
Yeah, percentage players die broke too, don't they, Bert? Oh, what the hell are you doing here? Details? Is that what you want? Details. Okay. They found her naked in the tub. God, she didn't even want to make a mess. No water, just naked in the tub. Are you interested in her? Yeah. You interested in how she felt? Yes. Okay, she picks up a newspaper, for Christ's sake. And there it is for everybody to see. Everybody to look at it. She must have felt like spoon. Four nine. Four jacks. You owe me fifteen grand, pal. What's the matter, kid? Don't you like my face? Look at that. All right? I'll jump first. No. Nope. Then you jump first. No, I said. What's the matter with you? I can't swim! <laughs> Why, are you crazy? The fall will probably kill you. What a dump. I'd like to kiss you, but I just washed my hair. And after you kiss me, I always used to wipe my mouth. Wipe my mouth! I put on this white dress for you. To help me tell you how humbly I ask you to forgive me. Well, I... I think I have a large order of prognosis negative. Oh, Jerry, don't let us for the moon. We have the stars. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Asked me to pull an act, join Yella, so those kids will think I'm no good. You asked me to throw away the only thing I got left, the only thing I've been able to take away from me. You want me to give those newspaper sophisters a chance to say another act, join Yella. You're a smart boy, Roberts. But I know how to take care of smart boys. I hate your guts, you smart college guys. I've been seeing your kind around since I was ten years old. Working as a busboy. Oh, busboy? It seems my friend is thrown up on the table. Clean up that mess, boy, will ya? And people keep telling me you're a worthless piece of slime. All them can't talk to me like that! Shut up, boy! Made it, boss! Shout out! 